Hey everyone, Sam here, and in this video, I'm going to show you two ways that you can add the blur effect to your Lottie animations. The first one is going to be compatible only with the web, and the second way will be compatible with both web and iOS. Let's get started. So the first quick and easy way is to use the Gaussian blur effect on our layer. So we can just go effects, blur, Gaussian blur. We can then animate the blurriness. Zero is going to rotate, it's going to become blurry. And then go back to zero. If we do that, just give it some smoothing quickly. There we go. And there we go. And if we quickly open up the Lottie files extension, And that's working fine on web. However, if you look at the animation on iOS, the effect will not be applied. So one way around that is using a blurred PNG of our shape, which we can then animate the opacity to sort of appear and hide it. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. And heading into Figma, I've created this square and with the same rounded edges, so you can just recreate your shape in Figma and then under effects, layer blur, you can then apply the same amount of blur you want to your shape layer. I used 50 in After Effects, so I'm going to try out 50 here as well. And then you can just click on your shape, export it. So I'm just going to import in the image. Bring it in. We're gonna scale it down to the same scale as our shape layer, so about there. And then I'm just going to parent it so that it's got the same rotation and scaling. And then we're just going to keyframe the opacity. So let's just do that. And there we go, what we're going to do and so once the first rotation is complete, I want it to be blurred. So we're going to have the blurred at 100 and the normal one at zero, zero. And then at the end, I want it to reappear. So I'm going to put 100 and I want the blurriness to disappear. So I'm going to put it at zero opacity. And then at the beginning, it can start at zero as well. There it's going, becoming blurred. And then it's reappearing. Let's just add some easy ease. And have a look if it's rendering correctly. Okay. And let's just upload that so I can look on mobile as well. And as you can see on iOS, I'm now achieving the blurred effect. So there you go. That's two ways you can have the blurred effect and recreate it inside of your Lotties with After Effects. 